Hey guys, stopping at Goodwill to check out what they have um, before I head to Kalamazoo today for this week's shopping haul. I found this Play, Co Play School Heroes Beanbox game system. I think about getting it for my nephew. He just started getting rescue here, rescue bots. And here's uh, Optimus Prime. And I think it'd be a cool game system that he could probably play in a year or two, if not now. And it's only $4. Hey guys, just got out of Goodwill and I actually did pick up the bean box, um, rescue bots. Yesterday we were just, me and Ethan went up and we saw him for his sister's baptism and he got himself a rescue bot. He really likes the rescue bots. And I think they're, they're basic controls. It's an, uh, looks like a jump button and a move button. So it's not going to be super complicated and it looks like something that he could probably, ages three to seven, he just turned three. So I think that's awesome, and I think I'm going to keep that for him and let my sister know if she doesn't want it, then I will return it. Anyway, I'm not going to go to Kalamazoo just yet. I have to run home because I've got groceries in the back. And then I'm going to head over to Kalamazoo, do a little bit of shopping. It's not going to be a long shopping because it's already 4 o'clock and <laughs> everything closes at like 8. Hey guys, back at Tuesday morning, checking things out. A lot of it seems the same so far, but I just got in. So I'm going to take a look around and I'll let you know if I find anything. Looks like they finally got in some member after a high here. They're $14.99. It's the same price as TJ Maxx. Also some Monster High dolls. Lots to choose from of the new stuff. I found a bunch of the Funko Pop plushes and a couple of these Nicktoons things. Ethan will love those. So I think I'm going to get those and then maybe one or two of the Pop plushes. I don't need them all and that's going to be a lot of money. So let me think about it. They still have some Pinky Cooper dolls. The Cupid dolls, which are cute but slightly creepy. And then you have all of these Dorothy's up here. Um, this one's only $6.99. It's not too bad, but I still get more with the Pinky Cooper doll at $6.99. So I'm thinking about getting another one of those. I also found these Dizzy Dancers. I've never seen them before, but they are not going to focus. Um, $6.99 by 80% off, so I'm going to check the price on that before I go. I don't know. Not a lot today, because most of it's what I've already seen. Hey guys, at Barnes & Noble, they're still having their big 50% off sale at mine. And then of course they got their huge toy section that I'm going to check out. Thinking about getting this, we've got $2.50. I don't know. So at Barnes & Noble they have these great things called fabrications. I got this one for Ethan. I've seen his haul video uh, and I don't I mean they also have these these DC ones and I really want to get this one for him they're magnetic and you can then change them so you can build your own thing again kind of cool black mantas back there the ones Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel bobbleheads labbits so much here Ran over to TJ Maxx, seeing what they have. It looks pretty much like what they did, but they have the Ever After High. They still have that pepper. I want her to go down. They have one Pinkie Pie, sorry, Pinkie Cooper over here, but she is $8, which is actually a dollar more than over at the other store. <clears throat> they have a few of these Blythe. Um, from the old, the old Blythe from Lil's Pet Shop. But Blythe dolls are actually a big thing. My friend loves them. And these are the Midgies. These are like the original Midgies too. So I think, I'm not sure, but I think the hair is interchangeable on them. I don't know. They're $6.99. Hey party people. I'm in my car and I'm about to go over to Five Below. And then I think Once Upon a Child and Toys R Us. I don't want to hit up a lot of stores today. I don't have a lot of expendable cash. I did buy groceries today and that was that was a lot. Um, but at the Tuesday morning, I got a couple things for Ethan. I got this one. This is uh, Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. I also got Billy, Timmy. From Fairly Odd Parents. These are both for Ethan. He said they look kind of weird, but um, they had three dollars. They weren't that bad. I did get the Ariel plushie to go in my burgeoning Ariel collection. She is my princess, I think. 
And then I did get those Dizzy Dancers because they were a steal. I got them for $1.50 for both of those. And they come with their Dizzy cords and everything. So we'll take a look at this. I'm thinking about adding on Thursday or Tuesday. Because Tuesday I think we'll be shopping videos. And then Thursday I think what I'll do is like random toy Thursday. If there's something that you're interested, put it in the comments below. Okay, guys. I'm going to head over to Five Below. At Five Below, they have, still have the ghoul charms. They are $3.00. Uh, most of them seemed like they were all Watsit, so I'm not sure I'm going to get those. Care Bears for two, Pet Shops for three, Marvel for three, Power Rangers two. I'm going to pick up a couple more of these Bruce Lees. I saw them at Target for $6.99, so I'm going to get three more and do probably on a random Toy Thursday or whatever one of those. Um, I think this one is one of these, which I'm considering getting. Uh, they're five dollars, but they're pretty actually cool. Actually pretty cool. Studio tour and tour. So they're instruments that are kind of messed up. They have Zelda. Zelda's only two. I think I'll get a couple Zeldas as well. Too many. <laughs> five Below has exclusives. That's actually pretty cool. I might get that just for collecting stuff, but it's five, so I'm still looking. One of the cool things that I saw here is they have beginning, it's the first Skylanders, but they have a couple different Skylanders for only five dollars. A friend of mine collects these and they're older but still not bad. So there was a lot I wanted to get in five below, but it started going up and up and up and up and I was freaking out. <laughs> this is too much money. So let's take a look here. I decided to get two of the Zelda danglers um because they were marked they were marked two dollars she tried to charge me four per and I was like it says two dollars on the box so she didn't check but I got this one and so I got two of those um I don't know I think I know what's in them but I'm not sure so let's cross our fingers I only got one of these these are actually three dollars um so We'll see. I'll probably open that with today's video. Um, I mean, sorry, Monday's video. I'm shopping on Monday. Uh, Monday's video because I think I'm going to turn Monday into Monster High Monday. If I've done it, then yay. If not, whatever. And then, I love these guys so much, I got three more. They were $6.99 at Target. And they're only $3 here. So I got three more. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to spend uber much. But they're so cute. And yes, it's Bruce Lee. I'm not a big Bruce Lee fan, but they're just cool looking. That's the only thing for me um, on those. And I think I'll just do a video where I just open those. And maybe that'll be a random video Thursday. I don't know. But I do want to open those and we'll get those open on very, very soon. All right. I am off to Once Upon a Child to see if it's even open because it is almost 8 o'clock. And then I will head over to Toys R Us and I think that's it for the day. I haven't been over to Burlington Coat Factory in a while, but checking out their selection, they have... Some interesting stuff. Not a lot, but they have some. So check out your local Burlington. I'm checking out this Nancy doll, and she is actually pretty cute. And her pony looks like a Clydesdale, like a miniature pony or something, too. Lots to offer in this package, and they're only asking $24.99. Found a few more of the Nancy dolls. This is Red Riding Hood Nancy, which is really cute. They have babysitting Nancy. They have this one right here. She's got a short haircut. She's only $9.99. And then this one here is her taking care of her pets, um, which is $12.99. So these aren't bad, and I haven't seen them anywhere else. Um, they're, I mean, they're not the per most perfect toys, but definitely a cute doll. Hey guys, at the mall, I went to Burlington as you saw. I've also been to Justice and Hot Topic. They didn't have much, uh, though Justice did have a doll that I think, that I already bought, but I might return, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about doing Monster High Mondays, and so, Jennifer Long Swimsuit Edition, uh, with it being an exclusive at Justice, they had 40% off plus 20% off as well. So, it went down from 28 to 12. That's not bad, that's over 50% off, and when you can only get them there, it's kind of the thing. Uh, I think they played this game of like, oh, we're giving you a deal, but it's not really a deal. 
And then I got a Moshi Monsters blind bag. They, again, marked down, so it was two something. Uh, you get two monsters in there, though, for $2. That's not bad. So I'm going to try this out. It's Series 2. Um, I remember I'd bought some for Series 1, but I'll give Series 2 a shot, at least in one of the videos, and we'll see what's up. Um, Once Upon a Child didn't have anything, and I don't want to record in there because there's children in there, and that just seems weird. But I'm going to go over to Toys R Us. Last stop for the night. At Toys R Us, they put a lot of stuff on sale. They have the Pinky Coopers on sale. So I might get her hair set, because that's only five. Um, and then these are $6.49, but I think all they have is, oh, no, oh, they do have Little Pinky back here. And I have Little Pinky at home, but I don't have that hair and her dog dish. So I'm not sure on that. Uh, but they've also marked down the Fairytale High Dolls, which I didn't really like at all. Some Moxies, some Lottie Dawes. Get over here, they have cast out finally, recharge station, sale, figure fusion hybrids are 22. Not bad, nothing new that I see in Ever After High from here. They did have the Manchester 2 pack. I'm not seeing Madonna, but they still have some Scaras, but I do have a Scara, so I don't need another one. Hmm. Oh, they also have the Ghoul's Char Ghoul Charm thing, and they have a Oh, like a carrying satchel for it. $18. $6.99. can get these for five at my store. See, why would I? I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested in that, but I think it's going to be expensive. They don't really have anything new in the Zelfs, though I think this is new. Um, new to me. She's actually pretty cute. Not bad for $5.99. I mean, even these aren't bad for $7.99 because you get the doll. It's only a few dollars more for their stand. Tamagotchi friends. I don't know. They seem to like to play the girls on the games things. I don't want the digital friends, but the actual Tamagotchi is not bad looking. Karichi, Karichi, Yukin Kochi, Yumemichi, Butterflychi. <laughs> well, that one's self explanatory. And that one looks so different from the others. Hmm. Maybe I'll check those out. I Heart Fairies 1982 posted, and I saw her video for Puppy Surprise. I'm not gonna get it though. I don't have, honestly, I don't have that kind of money, but they're actually really cute. Collector's items regardless. So my Toys R Us does have Shopkins, only they do not have the Shopkins blind bags. They only have Shopkins play sets, and well, they have these, which come with one hidden one and a couple play sets. I saw this one actually for sale for eight dollars at Target and I didn't think to buy it I should have bought it I'm in the Toys R Us back section which I think is markdowns and nothing is labeled I have no idea what I'm looking at I always pick up a bunch of stuff back here and then end up having to put it back because guess what it's not on sale take a lesson people if you're gonna put things in the back put them on sale ever after high stationary set I really want to get it. There's a lot of Monster High and Ever After High stuff over here. That would be really fun to just do crafts. Maybe I could do a craft video. Let me know in the comments below if you want a craft video. But yes, I kind of want to get this. I can't afford it, but I want to get it. So this is a new one from Moose Toys. It's called Mutant Mania Stretch and Connect. And they have blind bags down here. Um, they've also got Crashlings, which I'm not sure are Moose. I had to double check that. And then, of course, Moose Toys Trash Packs. My goodness, Moose Toys loves their tiny little things. So I found some smaller figures while I was shopping around. These things. They're by Yala, by Schleich, I think that's how that said. They're super cute. And they have more princesses over here and so forth. And this princess is on a really cool doe horse and then this one is like a lion with the ice wings oh there's another one of the doe horses very very cute all right guys i'm in my car at the end of the night i am tired and done i think that's it for today i don't really have it in me to go anywhere else and spend money i don't have so i've got plenty to to review this week and i will see you very soon bye party people